In the followings, we'll try to explain the concept of interrupts using EMU8086 in a MS-DOS real mode. We'll try a program that uh, draw some lines in a screen generated by interrupt 10. First, using uh, a subroutine and uh, the instruction call, then uh, using a user defined interrupt with uh, a vector 80 hexa. We'll see how to modify the interrupt table for delivering the address of the subroutine. First, we uh, must declare a model. <coughs> let's say small, for uh, reserving segments for data, code and stack. The stack will be, for example, at uh, 100 hexa. Then we'll start writing the code, the directive point code. Then we'll invoke uh, interrupt 10 hexa with uh, the function for initialization for the user screen with uh, AH0 and uh, AL13 hexa. This means 320 by 240 points. Then we uh, declare interrupt 10 hexa. And now uh, we'll have the screen, which uh, is uh, at the address A000 hexa. Then we'll declare the um, horizontal dimension of the user screen as uh, 320 points. We'll uh, put the address A000 hexa in DS, first in A x and then from ax to ds as it cannot be written directly. Now we uh, establish a pointer in this user screen. Uh, we'll uh, use bx and uh, the value will point to the tens line column 100. The length will be held in a counter which is cx. Let's move 10 to CX. The point color will be in AL. Let's choose 15. This means wine. And then uh, we'll call a subroutine named line O that uh, we'll define further. After this, uh, we'll jump to the end of the program. Now, the line O subroutine will repeat this uh, instruction. First, we move in the screen of the address given by bx, the content of al. Then we increment the address in this uh, screen, decrement the counter, and uh, if it is not zero, jump to the beginning of the routine. When it uh, reaches zero, we'll uh, make a return. Then, uh, if we run the program, the line will be drawn. This means that our subroutine is right. Now we replace the call instruction with int and uh, we choose the vector 80 hexa, which is available for the user. The return from the interrupt service routine will be made using the instruction IRET. We must now compile again the code with uh, these new instructions. Before running, we have to create the appropriate entry in the interrupt vector table. If our interrupt vector is 80 hexa, then the interrupt service routine address should be in the interrupt table at the address 80 hexa times 4, which means 200 hexa. We inspect the memory there, it will be something random, and in our source code we may find the interrupt service routine address. In our case it is 0720 colon 0017. 
composed by the CS, which is 0720, and the effective address, which is 0017. So we must write this address in the interrupt vector table with a little endian convention, the least significant byte at the lowest address, and so on. So uh, we write in the interrupt vector table the address of our subroutine at uh, 0000, 0, 0, 0 colon 0200 hexa, the bytes 17. 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 7. Now we will run the program step by step and watch what happens. First AH was written with 0, then NAL with 13 hexa. The interrupt 10 hexa is invoked and the user screen appears. Now the screen address is written in AX and then transferred to DS. The index of the screen memory is written in BX, line 10 and column 100. The points counter CX takes the value 10 and the points color will be 15 in AL. Then the user interrupt 80 hexa is invoked. We can see that the IP is loaded with 0017, uh, hence a jump is made at the first instruction of the interrupt service routine, where AL is written in the screen memory with the address held by BX. Then the content of uh, BX is increased, the counter is decreased, and uh, if it didn't reach to zero, a jump is made to the first instruction of the routing. The sequence repeats until CX reaches zero. When the IRET instruction is executed, going to the final instruction of the program. If we continue step by step, the instructions after the end label are uh, executed, in our case NOP, until a HALT instruction is found and the processor stops. Of course, it's not convenient to manually write the interrupt vector table, so we'll insert a sequence in the program that will write the appropriate entry in it, before invoking the interrupt. As it is in the data segment in the first kilobyte, we have to put 0 in DS, of course, through AX. Then uh, the interrupt vector is written in BX, which will be multiplied with 4 by shifting to left twice. As the address indicated now by BX, we will write as word the effective address of the interrupt service routine. At the next two addresses, we have to write the segment address of the interrupt service routine, which is in um, CS. Now we run the program and verify that everything goes right. We may also run it step by step and watch the interrupt vector table memory that takes the right values.
Now I should point out two recommendations for this kind of program. First of all, we shouldn't let the program to exit in such an uh, ungraceful way. The standard way is to return control to the operating system by using the BIOS interrupt 21HEXA with the function 4C. We may see the interrupt 21HEXA and uh, the function uh, 4C is here. We have to put in AH the byte 4C hexa and then invoke interrupt 21. Let's do this. So move AH 4C hexa interrupt 21. You see here the emulator halted but there is no control of what the processor was doing up till he found this instruction. So let's emulate this version of the program and see what happens. Run. Now you see the message. Program has returned control to the operating system, which indicates that the program ended gracefully. If uh, we use interrupt 21XA, there is a way to set the interrupt vector for a user interrupt using uh, also interrupt 21 hexa with the function 25 hexa. Let's see. In AH we'll write 25 hexa. In AL the interrupt number and uh, in DSTX the address of the interrupt service routing. Let's do this. First uh, we should comment the way that we uh, wrote in the interrupt table. And now let's uh, start programming. First of all we must uh, write uh, in DS the segment address of the interrupt handler. It is uh, of course in uh, the code segment so it must transfer code segment in data segment. This can be done using AX. So move AX CS, then move DS AX. Now we move AH25 hexa AL with the interrupt uh, vector move AL in our case uh, 80 hexa and we may see in DX we must have uh, the effective address of the interrupt handler which is here line O. So move DX line O. Then we should invoke interrupt 21 hexa. Let's emulate and run. Indeed, the interrupt vector table was uh, programmed properly.